Hi and welcome to this DCP Way tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up Blender to zoom to your mouse pointer. So if we open up this folder, inside this folder I've got this sci-fi scene. And if you remember in preferences, in the last tutorial I showed you how to enable the orbit around selection so that when we create, when we select an object, let's say the ship, we can rotate specifically around that ship or around this little planet over here or the bigger planet over here, we can select it and rotate. And this just makes editing a lot easier, right? So if we were to go into the camera view and click play, we can see the scene playing out. And we want to um, basically zoom into where the mouse pointer is pointing right now. So there's a couple of things that we can do. If I were to click on this sci-fi ship and try and zoom in onto it, it's gonna be a bit of a problem, yeah? I can try and zoom in, it's just a bit, it's not great. Right, the way that it's working right now. There's a couple of things we can do. First of all, we'll go into edit and go into preferences and turn off perspective and turn on depth here. Right, and if we close it, now this, this sci-fi ship, we can zoom right close up into it. It's not a problem. So that's one setting that we can update in Blender and I find that to be a lot more useful. And if we go back into preferences and we can turn on this option here, zoom to mass position. So if we zoom right out and let's just say we want to zoom into this planet over here, we can click on it. You don't have to select it, but you can click on it and then move your mouse cursor to the center of that, that object and it will zoom to that particular point. If we move our mouse cursor over here to the little spaceship and zoom or use our mouse, we can zoom to that object, right? And if we move our mouse cursor here, we can zoom to the planet in the back. And this just makes editing and, and navigating to the objects so much easier in Blender. I find it a lot easier. So we can click on the sci-fi ship and because we've enabled these options in here, rotate around selection, now we can just use our mass uh, pointer to point to that object and now we can just zoom into the perspective onto that object directly and we can go ahead and edit it. We can look at it and look dev as well. We can see what it looks like. And we can just simply go into our render view and see what it looks like in render view as well. So that's how you set up those preferences. These are the preferences I um, like to select orbit around selection so we can orbit around the selected object. I turn off this perspective and I turn on the depth and that just helps to zoom in and out much more clean. And then zoom into mass point is also very useful um, when you're editing multiple objects in the same scene. It just makes life a lot easier. You can just point your mass cursor to an object and zoom directly into it rather than having to, um, you know, pan and zoom and move your, your viewport in order to get that object into the center. You can just select it, zoom in directly onto that object just by pointing your mouse at it. Let's go ahead and click File, Save. That's a nice simple tutorial. Uh, let's just click on the render view and click uh, the um, camera view. This is a little sci-fi sort of tutorial that I created. If you're interested in following this tutorial, I'll put a link to this particular scene, how it was created uh, in the YouTube description. So you can go ahead and go and make something similar to this. Go and make your own version of this little sci-fi scene with all this volumetric lighting and all this good stuff. Let's go ahead and click save. That's how you set up Blender to zoom to the mouse pointer um, in Blender 2.9. I'm using Blender 2.9, but you can also do this in Blender 2.8. Okay, let's go ahead and close down this file. We'll close down this folder. That's the end of the tutorial, nice and simple. That's showing you how to set up Blender to zoom to your mouse pointer in the viewport. Okay, hopefully you find this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.